hello everybody welcome to another skills exercise review i'm joe carswell and this skills exercise is going to cover speed square work on what we call the fastener board this is going to be a project you're going to start with early and you're going to work it through with several different tools this particular exercise is going to use your speed square only we're going to use it as a measuring tool and as a tool to mark a 90 degree angle to produce several grid squares on this two by six we'll call it a sandwich header it's pieces of lumber that are laminated together you're making these 21 inch grid squares here and you're going to use these to drive fasteners that's going to be nails with a hammer on the back side you're going to drive screws with a screw gun or cordless drill and you might even use this for pneumatics practice so we'll get right into it the first thing we need the setup is uh, these grid squares so if you open up your plans I've got mine here on the tablet it's a step-by-step -step process that we're going to go through so the first thing we need to do is we're going to start from one end work all the way down and we need to be four inches off of the end of this board with our first grid square so the easiest way to do that if you remember on your speed square you have two rulers available to you one that goes from the fence out on the ruler side i also have a ruler inside here along the fence that i'm going to use uh, to get through some of this exercise so the first one is we need a four inch mark off the end so we'll put our fence there we'll mark that four inch mark and now we can draw a line there so that's my start of my 20 square grid uh, pattern right there now i need uh, i need four lines that are one inch from that i can use this uh, ruler here to make those marks and i'll just slide this speed square along i'm lining up my first mark on that one inch line that's going to set my uh, ruler edge at one inch from the other line so i'll go ahead and mark that line as you can see they're one inch apart i can slide it down i can make another one inch line and then i can do it again one inch line and then one more one inch line so now i have my first setup these lines carry across the width of the board and i have my four square grid now we're going to make five squares that are going to carry across the width of the board we're going to use the scribe notches on this speed square to do that and i'm always going to start from the top of this board and then work my way towards myself so i'll turn the speed square this way and find the one inch notch that sets my line one inch from the fence edge which is laying on this board and i'll put my pencil in there and drag it across and as you can see there i get a one inch square all the way across because that line carries we're going to do parallel lines i'll also do a two inch i'll set it at the two inch notch and drag it there's my second line and we can do that for uh, three inches as well the next line I need to scribe or drag on this board is at four inches and I do not have a guide notch at four inches what I can do though is to flip this speed square over and access it from the other side it will require a little bit of math but it's not that hard to do so we know a two by six is five and a half inches wide so if I make a mark at inch and a half my inch and a half uh, guide notch here is actually four inches from this side so that'll work out fine so i'll put my a pencil in at inch and a half and i'll scribe that line and there i have my one two three four notches i need one more mark for my last line this becomes a little bit of a trick my guide notches end at four inches this direction and they don't start to one inch on this side i need uh, if i pull it this way i need a half inch guide notch and if i pulled it this way i'd need a five inch guide notch and i i have an open place here i can drag this line from so i'll go ahead place my pencil in this slot and drag it at five inches so that's pretty close to being done now i have one two three four five and they're four this way five this way that's my 20 square grid you're going to multiply this same grid several times across this board so the only thing you need to know from here is that the next grid is two inches spaced away from this one so using my ruler edge here i'm going to go ahead and mark my two inch space and when i make that mark 
that's going to be the start of my next grid so i'll go ahead and go through all the steps of marking this next grid continuously So I'm making my scribe notches here, or scribe marks. And when we get to three inches, that's easy. I have a, a scribe notch for every one of those. I get to four inches, I have to flip it over. I'm going to use the inch and a half scribe mark because we have five and a half inches of a board. We subtract inch and a half from five inches. That's four inches. That one's no problem. My last one, I have to kind of fake it. This time I'm going to pull my half inch mark from this slot. So I'm going to line my pencil up with half inch and I'll scribe that line. So when you get all done with this exercise, as you work your way through to the end of the board, if you do this correctly and all your spaces are right, you should end up with four inches left at the end of this board, just like you started with. The other thing you can do to test your measuring with your, uh, with your speed square is pull a tape measure on this guy. And as you, uh, as you read the inches, every line should fall on an even inch and your spaces should be four inches at the beginning and at the end, and you should have two inches space in between each grid. So there you have it. Once you get this done on both sides, you'll be very good with your speed square using the ruler marking lines, square lines with it and using your scribe notches. And this will be the setup for all of your other exercises with your hammer, your cordless drill, and even your reciprocating saw at the end. So good luck with this. Let me know how it goes. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.